Hey guys, in today's video, what I want to take you through is how to create dynamic coupons. So when clients come to us, probably one of the things that they quite often ask is, if we put a discount in a flow, uh, what happens? Do coupon sites get hold of it? Is it forever in a day that it sits on the, you know, on the World Wide Web and you know, anyone can sort of grab it and use it over and over and over again? And whilst these discount codes aren't small, uh, if you decide, uh, sorry, are small, and they're not a you know a huge significant uh, discount. Some are only five percent, some are ten percent. Uh, it, it can can impact on your business, and you know some clients come to us and say, "Hey, can we make these codes a once only use?" And the answer is definitely. So what I want to take you through today is how to create those dynamic coupon codes and then insert them into your email templates. So. When you go into your Clavio account, I'll use my account Gearbunch as an example, just click on coupons. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a new coupon. So we'll create a Shopify coupon. I like to name it and I like to give it a prefix. The reason I like to name it is because that way I know which one it is for. So if I, I, I'll normally put them into different uh, flows and I'll give it a different prefix. So, you know, this one could be um, welcome, welcome new 10. So I know that it's in the welcome new flow and I'm giving them 10% off. And what I will call, I will call the, um, we'll call the, the discount that. Now, just be mindful that with these codes that, you know, it, the um, whether it's capitalized or non-capitalized will impact on um, when people, you know, when you do put the discount code in dynamically. So you can either go a fixed amount percentage or free shipping. Now, these are based straight out of the, the mechanics in the back end of your Shopify. So this is connected in through Shopify. If you're not on Shopify, there's a whole different system for it where you have to upload discount codes. But we're using Shopify, which is why we're using Recommended. And again, what you're looking at obviously is our Clavio account, which we use and recommend for our own brand and also for our clients' brands. If you don't have it, grab a link from down in the uh, description below and sign up to grab yourself an account. So we're gonna do a percentage, which is the normal thing that we would do. We'll make it 10% off. And you can see when you come in here, if you have used Shopify before, it's very, very similar. You can do entire on a specific product, specific collections. We've got activation dates. We've got expirations. Basically, there are once only, there are one-time use coupons. So if you send it to someone, unless it's a, you know, an offer that you don't want to repeat or you don't want it to, you know, the person to access it whenever they want, I would just not put an expiration date on it because it's only relevant to that one person that sent it. It can only be used that once. So we'll just go 10% off the entire order. Just keep it simple. We're not doing a minimum purchase. This is just for the example. And we'll create the coupon. Okay, so we've got the coupon. Oops, wrong one. And it's this one here. We've done welcome 10. And you can see here, we've created it. 10% off uh, order, valid indefinitely, prefix with welcome new 10. All right, so once you've created the coupon, what you'll then do, I'll just show you in an email template that we've got, how to insert it. Go back to our example one here. Edit the template. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's just say for argument's sake that this is going to be a, a discount for um, you know this email. We'll just grab a text field, we'll drag it in. Now in here, I'll put this um, short code below, but this is the place dynamic placeholder variable. So it's, you know, percentage coupon code. That's the dynamic part. The name of your code is the one that you want to include in there. Now remember, it is case sensitive. It must be an exact match. Welcome new 10. Okay, so we'll just save that. You can save that as a star, that as a block, so that you can just use it in if it goes through your welcome new series or whichever flow that you're putting it into. But basically what it'll be is it'll be a random batch of um, numbers and letters, prefix with that, and I'll just show you what it looks like on a preview. 
Oculus Preview in Clavio. It comes up as a welcome new preview. The user will get it as their unique code. What it's doing is it's actually connecting to Shopify and it creates that code on the back end for you so that when that email gets sent out, it triggers and it actually creates the email which is sitting on the back end of your Shopify store. It does all the heavy lifting for you and that's all you need to do. So that code, once that's used, that code is then um, redundant. It can't be used again for anything else. And it's really that simple. So if you want to only make your codes a one-time use only, which some people do, other people are happy for that, you know, that 10% code off to be used for, for, for different reasons. You know, like if you've got a repeat purchaser, if they're inclined to want to come back to your store organically and make a purchase using that, you know, that, that ten percent discount code they used last time still works and it gets them across the line. Well, you know, that's your cost to acquire that that customer, that repeat customer. You're not advertising and going out and finding a new customer again. So, you know, it's a it's a pre, it's a preference for brands or, or, or stores or businesses as to which they want to go. So if you want to just use a one time only code, this is the way to do it. So as I said before, as I always say, if you haven't subscribed and you want heaps of free info on how to use uh, email marketing to make more profits for your store, on average we get about twenty to thirty percent extra gross revenue for our clients um, using email marketing via Clavio. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll get heaps more videos up here. Uh, I'm going to put this um, uh, dynamic placeholder variable down in the description so you can just copy it out of there. As I said previously, if you don't have a Clavio account, we use and recommend it. The link to sign up for an account is down in the description as well. So uh, look, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.